today is also important for me to mention, whilst it's critical that we open this bridge today. From tomorrow, the Federal Ministry of Works will start work on the Third Mainland Bridge. The ramps on Third Mainland Bridge, which will affect um, coming from um, Adekunle, right, and when you need to come to Yaba. So strategically, we have opened an alternative for you, right? While well, we need to co collaborate and work with the Federal Ministry of Works, we need to open this so that from tomorrow, you can access, you know, your offices. If you are going on the mainland, if you are going to the island, you can come from this bridge. Either you are accessing it through Qatar Bridge or you are accessing it on Apapa Road to go and connect um, Eco Bridge. So you can see that this is a government that is thinking, that is reviewing what you need to do to ensure that life becomes meaningful, life becomes um, um, useful, and you can spend your time on the road efficiently and effectively. So we are working with the Federal Minister of Works, and I think it's important for me at this stage to indeed thank Mr. President, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Hamed Tinubu, for first giving the Federal Minister of Works all of the funding that they require to quickly move and come and do the heavy requires they need on Third Mainland Bay. I think Mr. President deserves a round of applause because it was one of the things that they had to do on the extra budgetary provision. But more importantly, more importantly, for the support that he's given us, I will not leave the secret now, but the President is supporting us extensively on our rail infrastructure, and he has assured me that when the red line is ready for commissioning, Mr. President himself will come around to do us the honor and commission the longest and the busiest by far, intra-city rail infrastructure in Nigeria and indeed in sub-Saharan Africa. Mr. President, we will take your date and we'll be waiting for you at the right time to come and do that for us. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's really just for me to thank all of you for coming. It's to thank Mesa Step Development Limited for the great work they're doing. I'm indeed excited that we can continue to give hope and give strength and give recognition to our local indigenous companies. To thank the management and staff of LAMATA, who continues to raise the bar of public transportation in Nigeria and in Africa. To thank all of our traditional institutions. This is for you, and you are seeing that indeed the benefit of government, of democracy, are being enjoyed in your domain. To thank very warmly our House of Assembly, here because it's a partnership that is working and it's a partnership that will continue to say to them that we're at the same coin, we're just on two different sides of the coin. You know, our best endeavors and regard go to Minister Speaker. Finally, to thank my brother, His Excellency, the Governor of Ekiti State, Honorable Abiodun Oyebanji, for honoring us as I invite him to come forward and make a few remarks and go ahead and commission and hand over the Oingo overpass for the good people of Lagos and for the benefit of mankind. Your Excellency, sir. Let me start on a lot of appreciation to Mr. Governor for inviting me as the special guest of honor to this mind-blowing event. And also to, ex to express my gratitude to Lagosians for the electing Governor Sanwo Olu for a second time in office. Without which we would not be here today. Today's event speaks to what is possible when you have a government that believes in the vision, in the policies, and the programs of its predecessors. Mr. President, as Governor of Lagos State, and place the building blocks for a new Lagos, on which governors Fashola, Ambode, and now Governor Sanwolu is building on. The import of this is that the people are the ultimate beneficiary of, of, of such. Ekiti State has a lot of land from Lagos State. In our 27 years as a state, this is the first time we are having a back-to-back -back government on which a government will succeed itself. And for the past one year, we are committed to completing the projects envisioned by Governor Kao de I mean, most of them have been completed. Some are in various stages of completion. 
my advice to Lagosians is Lagos State has become a model for transformative leadership, for reforms, for innovation, and for good governance. And when you have a system that works, you must guide it jealously. I advise Lagosians to treasure this path and ensure that we drive on this progressive lane so that our people ultimately will benefit from, 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 from this. The development stride of the San Olu administration is audible to the deaf, is visible to the blind, because these are things you can feel, you can see, and you can touch. And among we folks, Taima governors, Governor Samuel is a mentor to a lot of us. And 